Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix most Windows 11 update errors in 2024. I have 10 fixes for you, so let's just start right now. So the first solution that I highly recommend is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, afterwards click on system on the left pane, and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters, and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows Update. Windows will now detect any issues and try to fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards you can restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to check your internet connection. So just head over to the lower right corner on your desktop and check your Wi-Fi connection or your network connection. In case it's not active, just make sure to choose the connection that you have by default and then proceed with updating Windows 11. Otherwise, if you are connected but it's not working, just disconnect from your network for a while and connect back again. Then try to update and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, you can also free up disk space. Now to do this, press the Windows button, click on the settings icon, afterwards click on system on the left pane, and then head over to storage on the right side. Now this is super simple, you can either enable storage sense, which automatically will clean unnecessary files, or you can head over to your drives or temporary files and clean all that is unnecessary. Then you can try to restart your computer and update Windows 11 once again and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to reset the Windows Update component. To do so, press the Windows button, type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here, make sure to copy-paste the following commands that I posted in the description below, but make sure to press on Enter after each command. Note that this can take a bit of time because there's plenty of commands, but once you're finished, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, updating your drivers might be the solution. So head over to your start button, right click on it and select device manager. Now in here, if you have any device that's not updated to the latest update or you have problematic drivers, expand the section that's problematic, right click on it and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to install the latest drivers available on your PC. Then you can just close this window, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Now this next fix is a bit more fragile because you have to disable third-party security software temporarily in order to update Windows 11. It may happen that your antivirus is blocking the connection, so here's what you have to do. In my case, I have the Avast antivirus, so right click on your antivirus, search for something like disable antivirus for a few minutes, click on it and then click on OK, stop or whatever you have on your antivirus and you're good to go. You can check if the update is working. If not, just head over and simply re-enable your antivirus in order to stay safe. Moving on, another great solution is to perform a clean boot. Now to do this, press the Windows button, type in msconfig and then select system configuration from the search results. What you have to do in here is head over to the services tab, then tick the box next to hide all Microsoft services and then select the disable all button. Now head over to the startup tab and open task manager. In here, simply disable all the unnecessary app that start at start. Afterwards, close this window, click on apply and OK to save the changes and then restart your computer and try to update Windows 11 and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, you can also try to update using the Microsoft Update Catalog. To do so, open up an instance of your browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. Make sure to type in the KB version that you're looking for, I'll just show you an example, then simply click on search. You'll see that the KB update will show up in here, now make sure to select the version that's compatible with your architecture, then click on the download button. In here, select the hyperlink, then choose a location, preferably on your desktop, then click on the save button. What you have to do now is wait until the download is finished, then you can start the installation file. Thus, you can check if the problems still persist. 
Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the Windows Update service. To do so, press the Windows button, type in Services, and then select it from the system as a search result. In here, scroll down until you find the Windows Update service, then right-click on it and select the Restart option. You can also double-click on it to open up a new window and select in the Startup Type drop-down menu the Automatic option. Then you can click on Apply and OK to save the changes, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And as a last resort, the tenth solution is to reset your PC. To do so, press the Windows button, click on Settings, then click on System on the left pane, and afterwards on the right side, scroll down until you find the Recovery section and just click on it. And lastly, just click on the Reset PC under Recovery Options. From here on, choose your preferences and then proceed with the reset procedure. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Plenty of fixes. I hope they will help you in 2024. And if they do, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.